Hi you guys, good morning. It's Pam with iloveshelling.com. I had a question the other day about the shell lines and rack lines. Um, I had somebody that really didn't quite understand that. So I'm gonna show you today what I mean by so there's so many places to look on the beach for shell. I started at Gulfside City Park all the way down there as far as you can see and I've walked all the way up here. I have not even halfway touched this beach. As you can see, if you look down that beach, how many different tide pools, different areas, sandbars to search. So a lot of people shell at the surf's edge right at the surf line, which is right here. You can see the surf coming in, and it's on the edge of that surf, so right here. Oh, gosh. And I just found an auger too. And that fella is in the water, shin deep. That's a nice area too. So, and of course people can snorkel, you know, but that's really not the bulk of beachcombers and shellers. that this is a little area that I found in the tidal pool. So many cool things in here, half buried, and you can't forget to look up there. So this, I, I could spend all day just looking through this. So, and that one, he could be alive, but look how beautiful that one is. To look inside and see if there's anybody in there, which, nope, nobody's in there. Let's look up half buried things oops right there i doubt that he's alive but let's check and see nope very cool beautiful little apple murex and then we're going to move up to this area this area sorry i know my hands are all cut up um this area is really interesting because I want you to just see how many shell bits in the little crush shell we have here. Little Scott, look at that sweet little kitten's paw. I don't know if you can see that. Um, all kinds of really coquinas. This is the shell line in itself. And this is where the um, little, you can find the little minis. So, let's see, and you see it gets a little chunkier here. So, lots of little slippers, a little jewel box, ooh, a little piece of um, broken true tulip. There's an auger. There's an auger. Lots of really fun things in here. I think that if we stayed here for a while, and just looked at all of this, we'd find something very, very cool. There's another auger. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that sweet little purple coquina together. Oh, and look at that. Look at that, See, sitting right there. If I hadn't taken the time to come right here, I would have never found that. And look at that little tulip. He's a little worn. But just finding candy right there. Little horse conk. There's a little um, cone. It's a little dusky cone. He's a little worn. A little Sarah. But this tells me, oh, then look at that. Let's see what that one is. That is a mauled mouth drill right there. I mean, if you take your time. And so since I found all of that within uh, two, what, less than a sec, less than a minute? This means that this area on the top part of this little shell line 
is very interesting to me. I've already found, uh, there's so many more. I mean, I could go, that's a little jewel box too. That's a different kind of jewel box. I think that's a corrugate jewel box. Oh, little turkey wing, look at that little tiny turkey wing. Such a cutie. So, but since we just found those, I could get lost. I could get lost right in here, but I wanna show you something else. Okay, so there's this area which can be considered, so you see this, let me show that line. We have this whole line here, shell line. We have, if you can even, can you see that right there? These are the tide lines. So the tide comes up and drops the shells right off and stirs them up and then they get deposited in these little lines. Now you can see this one. This, can you, uh, I hope I'm pointing at the right thing on there. That's another one. So I'm sure if we walk through this one. Now, of course, I would, now that I found these things in that line, I would go back there because that was a productive little line. Now, if I don't find anything here, I'll move on. That's a nice little sailor's ear. Usually they're broken. Let's see. Usually they're broken, but I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. And a button, there's a button. A little button shell, you see that? So, a buttercup. Clark loves his buttercups. See that right there? Another button. So you see there's different shells that get trapped in each line. I'm sure I'm even missing some other things. So I'm trying not to step on any of these lines. Look at that little tiny shark's eye. Ooh, and there's a bubble. It's a little bubble right there. So when I see a bubble, I'm thinking, ooh, could be, could be getting close to some winnel traps, a little winnel trap area. Okay, but. Let me show you, I've been working this line right here, but then look at this one coming up right there. I mean, there's another little playground right here. So, oh, let me see, is that a, no, it's broken. So I love, there's another little button shell. It's a little button. Love to dig through this stuff. See. Hmm. Another little button, but he looks a little unusual. I might have to check him out. Um, oh, sea bean! And that's where the sea beans hang out and all of this. See, that's a sea pearl. Sea pearl right there. So you gotta keep your um now uh, the sea pearls and um, gosh, baby's ears could be in this one. Um, oh, there's another little shark size. Look at that. Pretty little shark size right there. Very cool. See the different things that you find in different in the different lines. I bet we'll find another sea bean too if we kept on going on this line. Okay, so we see that we found something in that line too. So then we have this one up here. This is the high tide line. It looks like, see how the sand is a little damp compared to that up there. But um, so the water line came up to here, but I don't think it was last night. I'm sure that that was um, in a strong wind probably couple days ago or last week or something. So this is even a different tide line, which is a rack line. And I call these more of a rack line when it has all kinds of seaweeds and bling and all kinds of fun stuff. But this is where we found so many of the sand dollars in October last year. So that's another, this right here, is another shell line, rack line. It's a rack line. You can see it all the way down the beach. OK, 
Okay, so yet another little um, shell line, which was a little tidal pool at some time. But as you can see, it's a little bit darker. You can see that the water had puddled in here for a while. You can see the different um, colors and changes and how many different lines there are, shell lines, rack lines, the whole thing. So I just started um, looking in here, which this is one of my favorite places too. So let me show you that because I just saw that too. So look right here. Another, there's a tusk and a, there's a tusk right here. Oh, look at that little sweet thing. Tusk. Oh my gosh. Um, a little wintel trap. What is that? I think, oh, that's a little sparse dove. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, what are you? I think you're a little auger. I think he's a little tiny auger. Um, oh my God, there are some. Oh, there's a little drill. Oh my, and look at how tiny, tiny, tiny some of those little olives are, a little rice olive. Right here, oh God, how adorable, adorable. I mean, I could get lost in here too. Um, but let me just show you. Oh, there's more rice. There's all kinds of fun things in there. Oh, another winter trout. Oops, it's a little gooey, but as you can see, there's a little winter trout. But right here, so it stopped me. I saw this little clump right there. That was my clue. Oh my gosh. And there is a beautiful little olive. Little rice olive. Ooh. And look at all those little goodies in there. There's a little, little fighting coke. A little sweet, sweet coquina sharp rib drill and look at the teeny tiny little minis in there I mean, all kinds of fun little stuff and it's they're all through here I mean who knows what's gonna shake out if I open up this look at all underneath there little sweet sweet little minis oh oh look at that a little painted um, periwinkle beautiful what a little treasure. See, that's what's fine. That that just made my day. Oh, another winter trout. To uncover and to find little sweet gems like these that, you know, you don't really see these if you don't take your time. Oh my gosh, look at all these sweet things. Oh my goodness. Look at a little sharp red drill. Tiny, tiny little, many tiny, tiny little shells. Oh gosh. So, there you go. So many treasures in so many little rack lines along this beach. So, um, and I'm telling you, if you walked up here too, I'm sure that there would be some more interesting things. And yet another rack line. And this was from a very, this was a high wind storm, but you can even see these were tossed up here in a very high tide. See how far, and we've already have grasses that are growing on this. But you can see that these are egg casings. That is a horse conch egg casing. This is a whelk egg casing, and I'm sure might even find some little bits of um, little tiny shells still in there. So yet another area which is really fun to look through. I mean, you, you still never know what's even going to be up here, what kind of little treasures, because if you broke some of these open, you might even be able to find the little tiny minis in there too, still. And look at all the other, I mean, there's still some scallops and arcs and pen shells and all kinds of things. Fun, huh? How many lines? So, if you look at the beach this way, you really can't see 
how many little valuable little lines there are to shell. Rambo shelling out.